Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, Yuna Versal Mastery. Welcome back to my public YouTube channel. Today, I have a very significant and a very interesting video that it is that we are going to be going into, which I think is going to offer you a lot of value to really integrate and understand. We're going to be talking about the dark truth and the dark reality to holding a high vibrational energy. So contrary to what a lot of people think in modern times within the spiritual community, a lot of people refer to being a high vibrational energy is an energy that is very powerful and it's something that is just basically going to completely change your life. You're then going to be able to manifest the things that you've always wanted and you're always able to feel good. So there's absolutely a reality that having a high vibrational energetic resonance is something that is very powerful and there's a lot of beauty to that, but the way that a lot of people are approaching it is in a way that is not completely authentic. So that is what I'm going to be explaining and because a lot of people are sort of attaching to this fake high vibrational energy, it actually ends up causing a lot of further damage in these types of people's lives, um, which is something that you don't want to have to run into or something that you don't want to have to attach to yourself. So I'm going to be explaining all of this here. This is going to be an in-depth breakdown, and I'm even going to be sharing my own personal experience and getting vulnerable with you in that way. All right, so if you want to know about the darker side of higher vibrational energy, then I highly recommend that you stay tuned for the rest of this video and I will see you on the other side. Okay, so we are here. So we're talking about the dangers or the darker side of having to hold onto a higher vibrational energy. So the first place that we really want to start with this is we want to start with the understanding that higher vibrational energy isn't something that you ever have to hold. It's something that you just are in the present moment authentically. This is one of the biggest misconceptions that a lot of people within the New Age community, within the New Age spiritual community, have when it comes to what high vibrational actually is and this need to have to hold it. So in reality, high vibrational energy is active when you are conscious, when you are aware, and most importantly, when you are being authentic to yourself, when you are in tune with your true self, your central self, that is literally the most high vibrational energy it is that you can have access to. A lot of people start to think that high vibrational energy means you have to be happy, means you always have to be positive, means you always have to keep thinking about things that you want or that you desire in order for those things to then be an energetic resonance with you as well. Having to hold this state of joy or this state of appreciation and gratitude and love and always having to hold on to that because that's what it means to be higher vibrational. When in reality, that's not at all actually what it means to be higher vibrational because this is largely having to hold on to something that might not even be authentic to where you truly are. Therefore, that's making that state not as high, not as high vibrational as you might think it is. Because if this is an inauthentic state for you, meaning you're not actually truly happy, you're not truly feeling good, you don't really want to be positive in that moment, Maybe there's some heaviness under the surface. Maybe you've got some trauma that's kind of, you know, working its way through your nervous system. And there is this deep feeling of shame and guilt and sadness and anger. 
if you've really got that under the surface, then truly being authentic to who and where you are in the present moment, that's what real high vibrational is. False high vibrational is feeling like I have to hold this energy in an artificial type of way so that I don't lose it. Because the second I let go of this identity that's connected to this high vibrational version of me, then I'm going to resort right back to my authentic self again, and I'm gonna have to face these these darker, deeper, repressed parts of myself that are not comfortable to be with, that makes me feel like I'm not worthy, it makes me feel sad, it makes me feel a little bit more tired. Why would I ever want to visit this part of myself? Why would I ever want to be authentic if that means I have to face these wounds that are sitting inside of my nervous system? So I can completely understand why the New Age spiritual community in many ways is using this high vibrational state identity as some form of a coping mechanism from actually going into the deeper core. This is something that I actually had my own experience with I know what it's like to go through some severe trauma in life and then go through different forms of fragmentation because of it and find ways to try to identify with parts of self that maybe aren't completely who you are. So I've experienced this personally and I have even experienced that whole high vibrational energy thing. This is something that I, I largely have seen my mom do in her life and I've seen other people do it as well and at points in my process I've even adopted it um, not even really conscious that that's what I was doing at the time now that I can reflect back and I can see that version of me doing it I can see that I was not being authentic to who I actually am I was not being truly honest with myself but once again I've been in that energy before there is a little bit of a power that comes with it because you feel like you're in control. If you can kind of separate from what you're truly feeling and say, I'm going to choose to be happy. I'm going to choose to be joyful. I'm going to choose to have this gratitude. I'm going to choose to have forgiveness. I'm going to choose to operate from unconditional love. I'm going to choose to focus on all the things that I want to have and that I want to experience in life. If you're in that energy and you're starting to attach to this identity, it can sound good on paper and you can actually start manifesting energetic things and circumstances to you from that energetic state, but it's not going to be completely long lasting and it's not going to be rooted in you being honest with what you're actually feeling under the surface. So in other words, one of the things that really gets people stuck in this cycle that fall into this is they think that as they're in that energy, they think that they have this sense of control over their life and what it is that they're manifesting. So that can feel good because it's like, if I'm choosing this energy, then I'm manifesting all these things that I think I want until you eventually manifest something that is rooted in your deeper unconscious that has been repressed while you've been trying to operate from that false self and then that thing becomes a catalyst that breaks you out of that illusion that's when it doesn't seem so fun that's when you wake up to the reality check of oh my gosh that was not me being me now i need to be real with myself again and i need to face my trauma okay so i have had that personal experience before obviously it's a humbling experience it's a learning lesson you don't want to get stuck in that. Yes, you can notice results from it. You can learn a huge life lesson from being that person as well because it shows you the power of energetic resonance. So for example, if I woke up today and I'm like, I'm gonna choose to be happy, I'm gonna choose to be joyful, I'm gonna choose to see everything in a way that's just like always working out for me and truly underneath the surface, I may be a little bit more tired, I'm feeling a little bit sad, I'm feeling a little bit lonely. Like if I'm choosing to kind of abandon those feelings to just attach to these other positive ones, there is a reality that my energetic resonance is going to create a reality around me that is going to create more room for those positive energies to also attract. As I said, there's a reality to that. That can actually happen and it does happen 
And this is what oftentimes hooks a lot of people in to these types of identities, to these types of states where they think, I'm just always going to raise my vibration and I'm always going to be in this positive energy because I just want to attract more of it. But what it ends up really becoming is it becomes not much different than an addiction that you might have to something that produces dopamine, whether that's to pull, uh, some form of sexual content that's inappropriate, whether that's to uh, you know unhealthy relationships, or whether that's to substances and processed foods and things of that nature. So the person is then operating outside of their authentic self to create a identity that is always feeling good and that is always positive and thinking on or focusing on positive things and then to some level they're actually attracting some of those experiences they're noticing the world around them is treating them a little bit differently they may notice there are parts of themselves that are coming through that they've never experienced before where maybe they're able to be more social in certain regards when previously they were feeling more isolated uh, maybe they're now attracting different forms of financial, you know, abundance into their life. Like maybe people are paying them money because they want to know what they're doing and how they can do it too. And you kind of do tap into a little bit of an energy there where it's like, whoa, like it's working. Like this energetic resonance of what I'm in is actually showing me results. And then it can get to a certain point where you start to attach meaning to these results and you say, well, this is what the universe wants me to do. This is what God wants me to do. It wants me to spread this love energy. It wants me to spread this positive energy so I can just teach everyone else how to do this too. This is my new purpose. I'm here to teach people how to separate from their authentic self to be in this false positive identity. All right? Once again, this is something that I have also experienced within myself and I was unconscious that I was doing this I was noticing a lot of the results from that positive energy that I was in, but really, truly, underneath the core of everything, there was a lot of trauma that was still there. There was some really uncomfortable feelings that I had still in my nervous system that I was needing to come to terms with and that I was needing to nurture. I was basically needing to nurture the inner child, the wounded parts of the inner child, but I was going through so much pain at that time that I decided to separate from my body and just see things from this lens of everything's working out, everything's positive, and everything is is good. And I can see why I did that. I can observe that from a space of love and compassion. I'm not judging myself or shaming myself, but I'm going to be honest with myself and realize that was not me being completely myself. That was not me being authentic. So... You know, obviously self-reflection on these things is important if you feel like you've done this before, okay? The reality is, is that most people that fall into that identity, a lot of them will stay in it as long as they can. They will kick and scream to hold on to that because they think that is their, you know, that's how they're, that's how they have to be. A lot of people are grabbing on to that false self very unconsciously not paying attention to the little cues within their body at an emotional, sensational, intuition level to show them that's not appropriate for their process. It's not healthy for their journey. So you have people that will operate in that state for a period of time until it stops working. So at some point holding the high vibrational energy, it eventually comes crashing down because think about it, when you're separating from your authentic self to always feel positive or see things in a positive way, you always are going to have the trauma and the repressed stuff under the surface. So it's only a matter of time until you being above the surface are going to have to dip back down into the water and see what's actually there authentically. And this will manifest itself through some form of a circumstance or through some form of an experience that will show that person who's operating that way that this is not going to continue lasting. It's going to come through some form of a catalyst. It's often going to be in a relationship. There's going to be like a heartbreak. It's going to be in some form of letting go, getting let go of a job. Maybe someone in your family dies. Maybe it's a health issue that you manifest for yourself. Whatever that catalyst is, it's going to present itself eventually 
because it's going to be the unconscious stuff that you're repressing now creating a circumstance to get you to let go to get you to go back into your trauma to get you to go back into what you need to actually heal in a healthy way and the reality is is there's a process to trauma work it takes time it takes consistency and it takes acceptance and trust for the process there's no way around it there's no way above it there's no way to speed it up really in that sense there's no way to bypass it you have to go through it and come out on the other side as a transformed person or as a transformed being in that way so that false self identity that has to hold a high vibration was never actually truly high vibration it was a false sense of high vibration that produced some results especially during the beginning stages of it but then fizzles out very quickly and then you're left with nothing because you now have to face yourself you now have to reground and you have to reconnect and use it as an opportunity to say you know what i was not being real now i'm going to be real which is a beautiful thing and i've seen very influential and powerful people go through that process and then learn a huge lesson from it and then become teachers of that type of um, identity or that type of false self all right so with that being said high vibration real high vibration is being authentic there is literally science that shows the highest vibrational state that exists is literally authenticity which means being who and what you truly are feeling the totality of all of your emotions none of this means that being positive is a bad thing it is beautiful to be positive when you are authentically feeling positive it is beautiful to experience positive energy or positive states of being and not having to attach to negative energy and saying, no, I'm not allowed to feel that way or I shouldn't feel that way. I need to feel this way. But it's not healthy to say, I'm going to feel positive. I feel amazing when truly I'm not really feeling that way underneath. It's like I'm a little bit sad. I'm tired. I'm depressed. I'm lonely. I have to first be authentic and be with what I'm actually feeling. I have to be with those wounded parts of the inner child on a daily basis and do this as a consistent practice so that I can reground my connection back to my central self and so that I can start nurturing those wounded parts of self and developing a new relationship between them so that they can come out from that wounded place in the past and come into the present moment where it is where it is a lot more beautiful and where things are much safer than what they were so this is all very important stuff to know do not fall into this trap or into this identity of the false self high vibrational being where i'm holding this energy whenever you're in a place where you have to hold something tightly to the point where you can't let it go that is a problem that's when you are walking in dark waters and something is bubbling under the surface that you're probably not seeing and it's okay it's a natural part of the growth process if this is where you are and this is what you have to learn but just remember there is something under the surface and it will present itself you can never run from you truly you can never escape from yourself you can never truly 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 fool yourself in that way it's always going to come full circle okay and that's a beautiful thing because we're meant to connect with our core we're meant to be authentic we're meant to work through the trauma in its practical mundane consistent way to be able to really integrate it and then experience real states of freedom and these real states of happiness and these real states of joy that are absolutely at our fingertips and absolutely things that we can experience and we do experience from doing the real work all right so this was the message that i wanted to communicate hopefully you were able to get value from this if you did slam the thumbs up button that lets me know that you learned from this drop down into the comment section and share your own experience with this i want to hear what you went through and what you experienced when it came to this high vibrational identity energy that you had to hold on to if you've had your experience with it share it in the comment section if you're resonating with what i'm talking about 
share it in the comment section. Hit the notification bell and get notified whenever I'm posting because I have a lot of very influential content that is consistently coming out. You want to tap into it. Subscribe to the YouTube channel by subscribing. You're further connecting to literally everything it is that I do. So definitely take advantage of that as well. Copy and paste the link to this video and send it to your social media platforms or send it to a friend. My intention is to spread this content throughout YouTube like a wildfire. Now also check out the first link below. This is going to be my Patreon. On my Patreon, I have a host of exclusive content, well over 280 plus videos, an entire magic training course for people that are beginning with their occult self-development, and then all these different organized collections going into understanding trauma, understanding how to do proper shadow work, and all of these different valuable things. The Patreon is literally an amazing resource for any of you that are looking to go deeper with your self-development practices. All right, so all of that's in the first link below. At tier three and four, you're gaining access to what's called the Universe B Ritual. It is the only ritual that I offer for my collective consciousness on the 29th of every month, and it supports you through the integration of the deep unconscious mind so that you can merge with your shadow and use it to your advantage in your everyday life in a form of uh, cooperation, but not not having to go through resistance from it. So if any of that sounds interesting, look into it. It's the first link below. Now in the second link below, you can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me or you can go directly into mentorships. I would love to work with you. Also in the same second link below, you can book a tarot card reading with Alexia. She's a very gifted tarot card reader that can help you navigate what's going on in your life. Third link is a Lucifer's Foundation course, a very powerful course with 11 modules that will help you build a relationship with the energy that is known as Lucifer. Definitely look into it. Fourth link is the YouTube memberships. I would love to have you in the YouTube memberships. This is like the Universal Mastery family. So if you want to join into the family of like-minded individuals and familiar faces, I would love to have you in there. Fifth link is my book recommendations for you. This is going to give you the ebooks as well as the physical copies of everything you need to know about the fundamentals of occultism, and they can be used as tools for the rest of your process. So with that being said, we're going to wrap it up here. I appreciate all of you very, very, very much, and I hope you all have an amazing rest of the day or night, wherever you are, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.